September 12, 2013. Jeff Creechie, Dutchman here. I will be doing a rap song to that um, as my theme song coming soon. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So it looks like I had a four-day week off pretty much. Yesterday, I went into work. It was nice and sunny. I got there. Boom, torrential downpour monsoon. And, of course, I went home um, because I was nervous with the scooter. And the wind miles were so fast, I didn't want to get knocked over because then I couldn't be here to do this show. So, I went home, made zero dollars, took a little nappage, a little nap, because I'm always tired. Depression. And then I went to Publix, got my groceries, and I had my first pumpkin spice latte of the season. Duke is down there playing with this. Watch this. Dukey, hi, come here. You want to be on TV? I saw him shaking the camera a little, playing with his bear on the floor, so I had a. Now he's bringing it back over. Uh, ruining the show. I want to get right into the topic of the day. Topic of the day. How are you helping others in your community? Um, or how are you helping your community? I think we all need to take a step back from our busy lives. I know we're all busy. And whether it's saying hello, being aware, going to a, an event uh, to help out the community, um, your community, doing volunteer work, whatever. So just think about that for today. That's the topic to think about. How are we helping our community and others? So uh, Chloe um, tweeted yesterday, sometimes you have to be your own hero. It's Chloe Kardashian. Um, it looks like they're heading for divorce. And uh, Lamar is still not living at home. And he was seen yesterday leaving, I believe, a CVS buying uh, chore boy, chore boy uh, metal sponges that you use to scrub. I have one, but it's not gold, it's silver. Let me see. Oh, it's in the bathroom. Hold on. This. He was seen buying these, um, which it's a known fact that crack users use for the filter. Maybe he was cleaning his house. Who knows? I still feel bad for blaming Chloe for not being able to have a baby when I think it was his crack-headed ass that couldn't have one. Oh, sorry, Chloe. I love you. Um, we're looking at a $375 million divorce if Clint Eastwood and Dina get one. She filed for legal separation yesterday. Oh, that's going to be a big one if they get divorced. Clint, always sign the prenup, Bubba. Always. Um, guess what's coming out? Uh, June 12th, Jurassic Park 4. The dinosaurs are back to scare us all. I'm sure it'll be number one at the box office. So we'll get it. excited to see that. So, I just want to give a shout out really quickly to Mama G, Pia Hayes, uh, Sarah and Lisa Vassello, Amy and Vinny, Cassandra Elder, Shayna, everyone that watches the show, Terry Beth Manny, that hits like right away, Brittany, everybody. Uh, and reposting my shows really helps me. I'm trying to make a difference, especially in the month of October. Even though we're in September, I'm starting it early with breast cancer. And... Wait till you see this year's song. I'm going to show you really quickly a clip of last year's. And if you think this is bad, this year it's going to be Gaga style. And it's going to be a lot crazier. But this is last year's. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's something we're trying. Oh, breast cancer awareness. Da -na, na, 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 na. You got a whole So that's part of it. I think everything went. 
So, I would love it if you guys would, uh, you know, I'm going to be working on the new song. Hopefully it'll debut Monday, maybe tomorrow. Who knows what's going to happen, but it's going to be a great breast cancer song. And my goal is to get it on Bethany or Ellen or any of those talk shows to make awareness possible. And the shirts and the bags will be on sale. So, that's my breast cancer talk for today. You know, last night I was thinking, did you ever think? I was thinking about Roseanne. Remember her? I'm sending her a message later in messages. Roseanne Barr, I missed that show Roseanne's Nuts. Everyone thinks I'm nuts. If you have ever seen Roseanne Nuts show, look it up on YouTube. It's the best show ever. Roseanne, I don't know why it's still not on the air, but if you want to produce my show or talk show, Jeff's Nuts too. Uh, last night was a season premiere of The X Factor. I wasn't going to watch it because I really didn't watch last year's, but I love Demi Lovato. I love Simon. I love um, Kelly Rowland and this new chick, this Spanish chick that's on. I have no idea what her name is. But last night, X Factor was so much talent. It was amazing balls. So, video views yesterday started at 40,291, and this morning they were 41,298, making it a grand total of 987 views for the day. Thank you, everybody. That is awesome. Um, Nicki Minaj got pulled over yesterday um, for a traffic violation. However, she was lucky enough to get a star-struck cop. Because he just asked her for an autograph for him and his mother. And she got it out of the ticket. And it was posted on YouTube. By the cop. Uh, I hope he gets a warning or something. So, George Zimmerman is off the hook again as of right now. Because they can't prove anything until they restore the iPad that he broke. Because um, it was all filmed to see what really went on. So, he's a lucky dick again. Got lucky. Uh, for now, though. And I got some great news. Emily Blunt and John Krasinski are expecting a baby. Congratulations to both of you. I think that is amazing. And for all you Brad Pitt fans, he cut his hair really short for a new movie role. What are you going to do? Now you can't rub your hands through it. How do you think I feel? Hmm? Hmm? Just kidding. Um, so like I said, my mama misses the top ten list, so I'm going to do two minutes stress solutions. Number ten, smile. Number nine, give yourself a hug. Eight, focus on the exhale. Seven, have a burger. Six, eat popcorn. You need the whole grains. Five, nibble on chocolate. Four, have a latte. Three, a warm shower. Two, Relax your jaw. I was going to say a joke, a very off-colored one, which everyone knows in their head. So, use your imagination. And number one, move it. Exercise. Why isn't weed on the list? Smoke weed. You know, it's really sad. You know, I realize I have no friends. Because when you're begging people to come over and smoke weed with you, I'll give you all the free weed you want. Come over and smoke with me. That's pretty sad. I have no friends. No one wants to smoke weed with me. I can't even get you to come here to smoke weed. Or I will give you free weed, I say, if we can hang out. No one wants to hang out with me. And that's a joke, people. That's in my stand-up act, which I might just do a whole stand-up thing for you guys. Say, shut up, so you know that I'm funny. But that was a little joke, so everyone calm down. Okay? Thank you. So, uh, I'm so excited about the breast cancer song. It's Gaga style, and it is going to be crazy. Like, five times crazier than last year. So, I, I really need your support, because it's not only supporting breast cancer awareness, but I want this video to go around the world, because everyone needs to know about breast cancer awareness. Um, you know, and as I'm doing this, I'm going to be doing charity work for breast cancer. That is what I'm doing for my community this month and next. So, I hope everyone has a great, totally excellent, awesome day. And I did not know who sang this. Can you believe this is Gloria Estefan? We'll be boys, bad boys, bad boys, bad boys, will be boys, see? This new 
jack, it just like goes right out. Hopefully it won't with this. Have a great day and say hi to someone today. Help us with breast cancer! Y'all thought I was gonna forget. Bitch, rant time! It is so hard to break into the business of show business, entertainment industry. I want to be a talk show host, a newscaster, a red carpet interviewer. Uh, it's not like applying for a regular job and you just got to keep going at it and not stop with your dream. If this is your dream, you got to do it. I'm doing it. I mean, I've been working for free on this show for a year and I'm going to keep doing this show because this is my passion, and if you don't see it, you don't pick me up, whatever, I'm doing my passion. However, I'd love to do my passion and get paid for it. That is my dream job, is to be on television to entertain you. That is my rant and bitch session for the day. Have a great day. I'm just gonna keep on counting until you are mine.